What's up, you guys? It's Trip, and so what I want to do is I want to tell you a story about uh, the richest man in Cambodia. Can you think of who the richest man in Cambodia is? Richest man in Bung Lung, Cambodia, which is a little little township way up north by Laos and Vietnam. Who the richest man in Cambodia was? Give that some thought. This was actually an old video I did back probably 10 years ago. Got like 100,000 views on YouTube. I took it down. Had a bunch of different channels, so I'm going to redo it for today with a little more high definition, but. Who is the richest man in Cambodia? Bung Lung, Cambodia. All right, here's the story. So it was a, a while back, I was in the military and we were doing a, what's called JTFA, or Joint Task Force Full Accounting, where we would take over helicopters and a team, and that team consisted of archeologists, doctors, uh, Navy SEALs. We hired a lot of the, the Cambodians because there was still Khmer Rouge up there that thought we were still at war with them way up in the north in Laos, and uh, they'd never even seen uh, big ass Americans like us, it was pretty interesting. Uh, landing in the nine foot grass, clearing fields out and doing archeological digs. We were looking for bones of, of prior military that were missing in action. And we wanted to close that chapter on, on the, uh, for the, you know, close the chapter on, on the MIA, see if we can t take them from MIA to KIA so they can get some closure for the family. And uh, we were pretty successful, we actually found um, two gentlemen that were missing in action. I think one was a lieutenant colonel and one was a um, first lieutenant pilot, uh, F4 pilot. Anyway, the richest man in Cambodia. Who do you think that was? Bung Lung, Cambodia. So we're way up in Bung Lung, Cambodia. And it's this little township. It's got this little town. We were staying up there and we were doing all these missions, bringing in fuel, uh, bringing in people that had, you know, uh, had some information about where they thought these missing people would be. And then we'd go conduct these missions. We'd spend some time out there. But going through the town and eating in the town, we actually would teach them how to make their food and cook the eggs. And it, it was just a really interesting time. It's a, it's a really different place up there. So, but what I noticed was there was a gentleman there that had found a commodity that everybody needed. And he found a way to monetize that commodity by, kit, by delivering it to his clients, which was everyone in the village, all the restaurants, all of uh, the people in the, in the market and uh, even the homes and this guy became the wealthiest guy there i know i could tell by his jewelry and how he walked and the car he drove or it wasn't really a car it was like an old busted up jeep but it was still um really really amazing i, I knew that uh, he was a pretty wealthy gentleman by by their standards up there and that commodity that he had was very interesting you think of what it was it was ice the ice man the Iceman was the richest man in uh, Bung Lung, Cambodia. He, uh, I don't know, he had some sort of a machine that he had by the river where we'd take the water and he'd freeze it. Then he'd chop it up, wrap a rope around it, put it on a moped and deliver it to everyone in the village. See, because they didn't really have a lot of power, they didn't have a lot of uh, uh, electricity, but they had ice chests and things like that. So they used this to chill the food, to chill the beer, chill the wine. So whatever it is they need to chill the fish when they went fishing, things like that. So, and they needed it constantly to uh, maintain, um, you know, healthy standards to, to their standard anyway. So this is a gentleman that thought outside of the box, thought of a, a solution to a problem. And he created that solution by be, by be thinking outside of the box, thinking bigger than himself and just going for it. And he ended up becoming the richest man in uh, Bangalore, Cambodia, the ice man. Did you get it right? I'd be interested to know if you got it right. Whoa, speaking of ice, look, my cube's filling up. Um, but yeah, so the moral of this story is kind of like, you know, if you have an idea or something that you want to go for, you should do it, you know? Give it some thought, think outside the box. Can you create a solution to a problem that many people need and many people want? And if you could do that, then the sky's the limit on what you could do. So. Uh, if you like this video comment make sure you like and subscribe to the page and um, um, yeah round two second round ten years later of the same story but uh, the richest man in Cambodia the Iceman